About a year and a half ago, the federal government started holding gun stores significantly more accountable for their actions. And kind of what I mean by that is uh, throughout the many, many years of talking with Maggie at the local gun stores, um, how she deals with the ATF when they do audits, that sort of thing was uh, her impressions were they were very friendly and that if there were mistakes, they would help them correct them and show them how to not make them and kind of tutor them and direct them. Well, about a year and a half ago, the federal government changed that to where if there's mistakes, they take your FFL. Uh, this was a huge, significant change. And I, I witnessed this happen. There was a local gun store uh, where I went in and I went to try to sell a gun. And they said, right, we can't buy any guns right now. The the uh, ATF has cut that off right now until we get something straight. And ultimately what it was, was it was just record issues, just a few minor, minor record issues, which, um, you know, I used to be a science teacher and I kind of have a rule. If a human does it, there's going to be errors. And instead of the ATF kind of focusing on those errors and helping you be better at not making them, uh, they're just taking your FFLs. Um, now this particular store was able to get it back, but they had to go through like a two month process before they can even buy guns. For some reason they were able to sell them, but not buy them. I'm not really sure how all that works. I'm not an FFL. If you know, put it in the comments below. Uh, but, but they did that. They just kind of walked in and took their license and then they had to go through a process. Uh, and I could pretty much guarantee if that happens again, it's going to shut their doors down is what it's going to do. Um, and gun stores across this country are being shut down uh, by dramatic numbers in a really weird kind of way. It's almost like banning guns by shutting down gun stores. And this is a pattern that has only gotten worse over the years. Now, um, will it change in the next few years? Probably. Uh, but right now, ATF policy is to hammer down on the gun stores, hammer down on them, strip their license away, close them down, confiscate the firearms, simply because they might have made some sort of an error and it's maybe the second time they made an error. Uh, so instead of them helping them fix this and be better FFL managers, um, they're just taking their licenses straight up. And this is a huge problem. It's something we just at least have to make note of um, and be aware of. So uh, there you go. Any thoughts or insight on that? Definitely put it below. I do want to take a moment and say that most people watch the channel, hey, they're not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. Greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guts.